What is going on everybody? It is Aaron Cates and welcome back to the channel. Now today we are actually going to get into building the headlights that I have been talking about for the last month or so. I know in the HD hood swap video, you can see the Chevy back over there. I showed you guys how I broke the old set of headlights. The new headlights have arrived. Uh, let, me, let me give you a little sneak peek of everything we have in store. I told you guys I ordered everything to finish the truck and the table is completely full of parts. The bumpers here, you see all the Amazon packages. The porch is a disaster right now, um, but everything is here. I'm waiting for a couple cans of paint to come uh, to do the bumper caps. I'm waiting for my 2K clear to come and then we can get started on this bumper. They're supposed to be here over the weekend. Uh, Monday's President's Day, so I have off from work. So I'll be able to jump in and do the bumper and all that for Wednesday's video. So let me open up the package and show you the headlights and then I'll show you what we're doing as far as inside the headlights goes. Okay, I'm gonna try and do this one handed because I don't have anyone to set the tripod. Yes, I'm opening this with a flathead screwdriver. And there you go. There are the headlights. They're the same as I showed you in the HD hood swap video. Just all clear chrome, clear bezel, clear reflectors. Just simple and clean. And then for our inside lighting, inside the headlights, we have some RGB Flow Series strips. These are from Amazon. I believe it's like a Chinese, Japanese company. They're super cheap. I have already tested them and they work great. The reason why I went with this route instead of the standard Halo, these you can put just about anywhere you want inside of the headlight. And since it's in a tube, it lights up the entire tube and not just the strip where the LEDs themselves are. And that is the reason why I went with this route because I have a little, little plan with these that involves going around in here. Now I'm sure you guys have seen the uh, headlights that have the U-bar shape. They're really popular right now. A lot of cat eyes are running them. A lot of people love that style headlight. I have a couple of friends that I follow on Instagram that are running those headlights. And honestly, I was going to go that route. It was a lot easier. Um, it was like 200 bucks. I could buy them and they'd already be made, I just throw them in. But I wanted the clear chrome headlights like these with the clear reflectors and the chrome housing. And all the companies that I could find that made those style headlights with the U-bars in them, none of them had the all clear with clear reflectors. And I found one company that had them and it had terrible reviews. All of them, all the reviews were people saying that they yellowed out within like two months and you all know if you own a cat eye and you've bought amazon ebay headlights before they normally yellow out pretty fast i don't know what it is but the top headlights always yellow and it normally seems like it comes from the inside well i didn't want to go spend 200 something dollars on a set of headlights and then last three months and that's why i bought the headlights that i tried building last weekend because they had great reviews that they didn't yellow over a year and everything and I broke them trying to get them apart because they were, they were sealed with Permaseal. Well, I've bought from this company before. They're actually who designed the headlights that are in my Chevy now. The headlight themselves, not the halo. And they yellow, they yellowed out. Um, and I don't think there's gonna be a way around that unless you get like super expensive headlights, but I'm going to be building them. So I don't wanna spend a lot of money on headlights and accidentally break them like I did pulling them apart because you never know what could happen. Uh, could get too hot and it could warp or anything like that that's why so many people use ebay amazon headlights to build things so i'm gonna stop boring you guys uh, i've already showed you in two separate videos pulling headlights apart i use the oven and set it at like 250 for five minutes if it doesn't pull apart and then do three minute in uh, intervals from there on i'm not gonna bore you with that but i will pick you guys back up after i have the headlights apart and show you what i'm doing from there all right, everybody, I just finished doing the driver side headlights. I have a mark on this remote be for driver side. This will be the passenger side remote. 
I did the driver's side first, so I'd have an idea of what all I need to do for this passenger side. And I must say, I've already seen the finished product out at night. Hopefully you guys can see everything. I've actually got a LED light up above to try and help out with uh, the lighting. But I've already done this, so I kind of have an idea of what I'm doing already. So basically, we're coming in and we're getting this stuck down kind of where we want it. And then we're gonna mark where to drill our holes for the wire. How you do this is you just you get everything where you want it and instead of taping it down already, you just kind of hold it with your fingers where you'd like it to be. This is about kind of how I like it. Now with these lower headlights, this is your parking light, the one that's closest to your bumper. There's a little hump right here and it causes the LED strip to bend up just a little bit. Uh, it might bother some of you, it does not bother me. If it bothers you enough, you can actually trim out the piece of plastic in the tubing and make it sit flush. It doesn't bother me, so I'm not worried about it. But you wanna mark where you wanna drill your hole for your wire. Now, since I've already done this, I already know where I'm drilling the hole. I'm still gonna mark it just so I kinda stay in that general area. Um, I don't even know what size drill bit this is. I have a whole set. I wanna say it's a 1130 seconds. I believe that's what it is. It's all worn off on the end, so I don't really know. Uh, if you wanna be safe, you can start out with a smaller one, like so, which I'll go ahead and do, just because this one's on the inside of the headlight. The actual upper headlight, um, you do it on the back plastic, kind of like in this general area. But this one, since LED strips in the actual headlight itself, because well, I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is a finished set. This is the driver's side. You have the wire that comes out the back and actually comes down here. And that's how I have the driver side done. And I'll show you the finished product of this. Give you kind of an idea. See where the wire goes in the hole right there? And then it ends up coming out right in there. That's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be drilling out that little hole right there. Now we have a starter hole. When I did the first headlight, I went up in sizes. I'm not going to do that this time. I've got this little starter hole. I'm gonna jump from this all the way back up to that 11.30 seconds. And now once you have your hole drilled, you wanna get your light and get your wire. Just kind of put it up and see what little adjustments you need to make. I'll try and show you. See the little tiny hole? You wanna try and trim out the sides to get those corners of that plug to go through it. If you have one of the tools that you can pop these wires out, that would be a lot easier and you can do a lot smaller of a hole. I do not own that tool, so I'm going to have to drill a hole big enough for the plug to go through. So what I did earlier is I had the, the hole drilled and then I went and I just wiggled the drill bit back and forth to try and widen it. So now I've got it widened a little bit. Try and get all the debris out because it can scratch the chrome. I really don't want to do that. So I've been using a, a microfiber to try and get a lot of the big pieces out. Now you want to take your plug and see if you can pop it through. What I had to end up doing earlier was kind of just push it until it popped through. See if I can get it to do it again, just like that. Plug is now through. You can check and make sure you didn't break anything. Nothing's broken. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean up kind of around there. Make sure there's no fingerprints from us pushing it through because you do not want fingerprints after you seal this. Because once it's sealed, you don't really want to open it back up. 
Now what I did earlier was move all this crap out of the way. I just kind of took the strip and I went over the hole just a little bit. I try and cover that hole as much as possible. It does take some uh, persuading to get the strip to stick exactly where you want it. You might not be able to get it in the exact spot, but get it close and that's all that matters. Now, wipe down. I've learned on this plastic chrome, you don't want to use alcohol or anything like that. A lot of times it can have like a chemical reaction with this chrome and it can actually take the chrome off. So I just take a microfiber, uh, a lint-free microfiber, anything like that, and just wipe it down. It doesn't have to be perfect. I am going to be using the hot glue to try and seal this down some more. So let's take our blue tape off so we have some extra oh, some extra adhesive no worry about the blue strands that go all around you can pull those off after you're done and again with the glue if you did glue on a part of the headlight where you don't want it don't worry about it once it's once that glue dries you can actually go back and just peel the glue off so don't stress too much over it guys just hot glue it just peels off We've got a little glue strand right there, peels off. I got glue right here that I didn't want it. Literally, just take your finger, peel the glue open up where you can grab it. Just like that, it's pulled off. Now, I'm gonna go around and do all this, just repeat that, just put glue on something. Keep going, keep going, keep going until you have the entire headlight sealed down. Okay, now that you have everything glued down, as we can tell, you wanna go to where you drilled your hole your wire and put a little bit of hot glue over that. Now if you guys are wondering why I'm using hot glue and not like silicone, hot glue dries a whole lot faster and it has to be up to burning temperature to melt again. So you don't really have to worry about it sitting in the sunlight if it's going to melt. It has to be a lot hotter than that to melt and get back to this melted temperature. So that's why I've done the silicone all the way around it. And I said, you can come back through and pick out all the strands of the hot glue that are in the way or they don't look good or anything like that. You can always come through and pull those off. And hot glue, if it's a solid bead, water can't get through it. So that's why I suggest you put the hot glue over top the wire hole and then you come back over to this side and I'll wipe off any type of burrs or anything like that and I don't know if you guys can see in here but that is where the hole is at so you want to take your hot glue gun and go in there and just start putting hot glue kind of just everywhere until you feel comfortable that water's not going to get in through there and while this is drying we can start the other headlight which is basically the same process just on something bigger so while all that dries let me get the other one and they are finished i haven't put my drill in because tomorrow i have to trim the headlight bezel for my led bulbs that go inside for my headlights themselves but they're setting in there uh the wires aren't where i want them to be I've just got them wired up just to demonstrate for you guys. One remote works for both actually, so it surprised me to mode. And there's the chasing LEDs. Now you can select your mode with this plus symbol right here. They're both chasing. This one's probably my favorite setting out of all of them, just as it does so many different colored patterns. Then we have more, there's this. We have a fading, it fades from every color. And there's this, back to the rainbow pattern. And then you can come in, the white is actually crystal white. I was I was very 
worried that it was going to be like the bluish rgb white no it is a solid white it is beautiful and we have purple pink blue green red light blue yellow back to white i love the white look and i would definitely 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 recommend these as you can see it is sticking everywhere and i'll give you guys another shot in the daytime tomorrow right, before i throw the drill back on i just want to give you an idea of how i have it wired i have the module put right here behind the transmission cooler it's zip tied up and i actually electrical taped them together because there's the two modules and i electrical taped all the extra wires that are on it to it i have the passenger side ran over all wire loomed i've got the driver's side the power wire i had to run extension wire with it and it's all wire loomed following the outside temperature thing i don't know you what, what uh you actually call that the sensor and then the headlight wires are coming over this way and they go up right through there to the two headlights i have it ran and i have it temporarily just put on the battery just to show you guys daytime demonstration i'm gonna throw the grill back on real quick and then we'll continue on it's hard to see the leds in direct sunlight but they are on they're very bright at night as you guys saw but during the daytime it's kind of hard to tell just because this is florida and it is direct sunlight right on them i'm gonna move the truck over there in the shade see if we can get a better look there they are as you can see you can see them during the day it just kind of has to not be in direct sunlight get a remote out and we'll do white there's the white we've got green blue red and there's purple pink not a very big difference between purple and pink yellow and then light blue my favorite is Let's see if i can get it this mode right here is my absolute favorite the rainbow chasing you just hit the mode and then you go back one that is absolutely awesome and the, and the cool thing about this is, is how cheap these LED strips are. And since you already pulled these headlights apart and you didn't seal them with like any type of crazy silicone or anything like that, like I didn't do, I just used what butyl was in there. If you have an LED strip go out, pay $18, get another pack of two and go back in there and replace it. It wasn't very hard to pull apart. It, it was super easy. And look how freaking cool those are. So if you guys would like to build a set of these, just follow all the instructions in this video. Everything will be linked down below that I use in this video, all the way from the headlight brackets, to the LED strips, to the headlights that I bought. Everything will be in the description down below. Guys, if you wanna see more cool things like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit that like button, join the fam. We got a lot more coming for this truck. Bumpers getting put on for Wednesday's video. Plastics are getting repainted. Then it's body work time and it's wrap time. I'm hoping to have the truck wrapped in three weeks. So stay tuned guys. If you haven't already hit the subscribe button, I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.